Hello guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you on how I color grade my footages in DaVinci Resolve. It's a very powerful color grading tool and also an editing tool and it's free. I'm using the paid version however, but you can do a lot with the free version and whatever I'm going to show you today can be done with the free version. So now I'm going to color grade this flat looking footage which I shot in RAW format 6K resolution and I'm going to turn it into something like this which is high in contrast, lots of details and sharpness and very vibrant. So I'm going to show you the file which I shot with Blackmagic 6K cinema camera. I shot this in B-RAW format 12 to 1 compression on 6K resolution 50fps. So now I'm going to drag this into Resolve and I choose change since I want the FPS of the timeline to remain the same which is 50 FPS. Drag it to the timeline and I'm going to change the master settings here to 6K resolution which is 6144 times 3456 and OK. And now we are ready to go. So I'm going to jump straight to the color tab and this is the interface of the color tab in DaVinci Resolve. If you are coming from After Effects and Premiere which use layers, Resolve uses nodes which I find almost similar to layers. You can turn it on and off here. I can move the node here and you can also change the histogram window into keyframe and you can also change the parade into waveform or whatever. So since this is a raw footage, I can go to the camera raw window and change the project into clip which allow me to change the ISO. I can change the color temperature, let it be lower or higher but for this one, I'm just going to leave it as default. I can also change into higher ISO, but for this one, I'm just going to leave it at ISO 100. So now I'm going to jump straight into color wheels. In most of my shots, I will deal with three things, which are contrast of the image, increase the sharpness, and finally dealing with the colors. So firstly, I will adjust the gamma by scrolling my mask wheel up and down to control the brightness of the overall image. Then I'm going to adjust the gain to brighten up the brighter part of the image and not to overdo it just by touching the top line slightly. Next, I'm going to adjust the lift to darken the dark part of the image. Maybe lower it down, maybe lower down the gamma and back to the lift. I'm going to get some HDR kind of look. So I'll increase the shadow to around 50 and decrease the highlight to around minus 30. I'm going to lower the gamma again and increase the gain. I'll turn off the node window for a while and zoom at the image a bit. Now if I click here, you can see the before and after. So for now, we already work on the image from totally flat like this into this which has a good contrast already. Now I'm going to play around with the MD, which is mid-tone details. If I change it into minus, the image will look soft and less detail. But if I increase the number, you will see a lot of details on the image. So now I'm going to find a sweet spot to maybe around 20. I also can increase the color by adjusting the color boost here, but I prefer to deal with the color using the graph. And I guess, I'll make it slightly darker on the gamma and I'm going to change to log, decrease the darker part more on the shadow and increase the highlight. Now I go back to primary wheels and increase the brightness slightly more on the gain wheel. Now I'm happy with the contrast of the image so I'm going to go to the blur tab and I'm going to sharpen the image slightly by lower the radius number from 0.5 to 0.48. Now you can see the image become really sharp now from flat image like this into a sharp high contrast image. Now I'm going to turn on the notes window again. I'm going to add a new note by pressing Alt S on your keyboard or you can right click at the note, add note and add serial. So now I have a new note and I'm going to use this note to adjust the colors. Now on the hue and hue graph, I'm going to keyframe all these colors and let me just zoom a bit. I'm going to bring the yellow towards red, the green maybe a bit towards yellow, and the cyan slightly towards green. Next I'll proceed on the hue versus saturation graph. I'm going to increase the colors of the blues, and luma versus saturation, 
This is where I'm going to increase the saturation of the whole image to make it pop out and vibrant by increasing this point here. And I'm going to bring the darkest point all the way down so that there will be less colors on the shadow and the black will be true black. I think I'm going to decrease the colors on the highlight and increase this point just by a bit. This might look good at this point. Now I'm going to bring the notes window again and let's see the before and after. I can disable this note by clicking here on the note number, before and after. Now you can see the difference. Yeah, I think this is good for now. I'm going to show another technique here. Let's add a new note and this time I'm going to add a layer note. So if you come from Adobe Premiere, this is something very familiar for you. The layer node is exactly the same as layers in Premiere or After Effects or even Photoshop. So now with the layer node, I'm gonna go to the window and I'm gonna use gradient. I'm gonna resize and position this gradient here. And I'm gonna right click here, go to the composite mode. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to multiply. Now we have a darker and contrasty sky which helps the image to look more dramatic. Now let's see the difference. I can disable the node by clicking here, before and after. And I'm gonna lower down the opacity here to maybe around 60. So let's see the before and after. Let's jump on the timeline and see before and after. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna add another layer node. So let's add a serial node first. And then I add another layer node. For this layer node, I'm going to change the blending mode into linear dodge. And then I'm going to mask this layer by using the box shape. I'm going to change the size and I can also control the soft edge here. And now on this very same layer node, I'm going to go to the color wheels window and I'm going to increase the gain slightly towards orange. Then I'll go back to the masking window and lower the opacity to about 55. Now let's see the before and after. One last thing I'm gonna do here is to go back to this layer node and add another gradient and I'm gonna position it at the bottom here. I'm gonna resize it a bit and I'm gonna lower down the opacity of this gradient to about 40. So now I have a bit like a vignette effect. And to view the footage in full screen, I can press Ctrl F on Windows or Command F on Mac. I can press it again or I can click on this icon to go back to the normal mode. So let's see the before and after. Before and after. So this is one of many ways on how I color grade my footage that I shot on RAW format from my Blackmagic camera using DaVinci Resolve. If you guys have any questions regarding color grading in DaVinci Resolve, please leave it on the comment below and I can probably make more tutorial in the future. If you need the same raw footage to follow this tutorial, you can contact me from my email written on the description below and I'll share you the raw file of the video. Hope to see you guys again soon and peace be on you.